right, it's the next morning, <clears throat> and uh, checking my voltage was about 820 millivolts, uh, DC-wise, nothing AC, really, if there is, it gets sapped by the meter extremely fast, but this DC is slowly being taken out by the meter, I think, I think the meter's pulling some off of it, um, let's see, there's no... This, this, it's turned off right now, so there's nothing running necessarily. There's uh, the schematic, if anyone's interested. And there is the uh, showing it's off, basically. And the probe channels, um, the, the probe channel one is between the dr drain and source, the probe channel two is uh, on the pulse width modulator, modulating side um, of, of the scenario, so the positive and negative. And the battery's fully charged. It's probably standing about 13 some volts because I gave it a, I give it a nice float charge when I'm not doing the experiment just to keep it controlled as far as that goes. And I haven't even got into duration times or anything like that. But um, this is what I'm gonna do. Kind of thought about this, and if if water has, if well, it does, but water has a mass, and you can spin the velocity of that in, in like a carrier wave. Um, perhaps you can just give it little spins to keep it going for efficiency. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn this up all the way. And it goes up to 300 milliamps usually. But it uh, seems to be dropping more and more. My water is still same water I, I started with. It's still really clear. Uh, there's a little bit of um, discolorization, which I think has to do with the water quality. As you can see, as the resistance breaks down in the cell, it goes up a little bit, and like I said, it goes up to about 300 milliamps, um, which isn't that impressive, I guess, but on observation, I noticed that these little bubbles seem to be uh, almost like oxygen, and the because and the fast-moving bubbles um, that are, a lot of times are larger um, seem to be the, the hydrogen-producing bubbles, right? Um, so... Pop. Those guys are going. There we go, popping. Um, you can see the night and all wire. <laughs> see, I'm getting some decent production. Now back to that inertial wheel idea. Um, spinning mass. All right. Um, here's my scope shot. All right. And you can see on the drain source there is a AC, almost like an AC flyback. It, 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 it's into, let's see if I can get that peak. To, it doesn't really drop to uh, zero, but it does at about 25 volts, peaks up and rings down. and the, of just one of these peaks is just one of these peaks is probably about 100, 150 nanoseconds I want to say in its duty its duty cycle or its linear movement <laughs> we want to look at that um, and then what's interesting about this uh, pulse width as well is that when I start turning this down as the total current supposed to go down uh, supposed to go down on the cell it actually like in inverses in a way like um i'll show you what i mean i'll go down to 200 milliamps first okay so we're up this. so you can see that we have a long on time and a quick off time and that's how the pulse width i guess it's almost like it i think this yeah I'll go too much into that, but um, if, I, if I turn it down to 200 milliamps, you can see there is a more even on off time. All right. And here's our DC voltage. And I'll turn it back up. Well, no, I'll just let it sit for a second because I want to show the production. Drops it down to 200 millivolts, and there's my production. Right? 
Now, um, there's that AC overlay in here. Can we read it? Let's see. Nope, it's kind of dancing around. Good, um, good representation <laughs> that the frequencies, um, the digital multimeter is not going to be able to handle the frequency. So I'll have to, in the next video, when I get back from my little mini vacation, I'll have to do some measurements with the oscilloscope to make this more thorough. But you can see the production still the same, right? So um, now we'll turn it down to 100 milliamps, all right? Actually, we'll turn it down to like 70 milliamps just for fun. See how much that affects it. And sorry for being on the uh, non-resisted part. I. <laughs> I blew the meter on the milliamp scale as far as the fuse goes, and I haven't got a new fuse for it yet. But um, you can see how the on off time, there's a much longer off time and a much longer on time, right? So the pulse width is being in inverted in a sense. And the voltage frequency that is between the drain and source 100 nanoseconds per division there so and here's the cell <laughs> it's still producing decent amount I mean it I, looks like it's dropped a little bit for sure but you can still see there's still production there's still Lots of bubbles happening there. See that? And the little bubbles, they just, they burn off pretty quick. And this is just ordinary tap water. There's no KOH or any baking soda or anything in it. Normal tap water. See that? Pretty, pretty cool stuff. And that's at 70 milliamps and 4.65 volts across the battery, across the cell, I should say. So I thought that was interesting, so I figured I would just record that. Um, I, I don't have the time to do the duration test right now, but um, I will get back to it um, to see if this continues to move at this rate. The voltage maintains decently. Um, and uh, I just think that's pretty nifty. Um, but I'll have to further test, further tests uh, to see if this is even, and, and also if you guys want to comment and let me know if this is even valid, if I should even be going down this path at all or whatever, that's, that's, that's cool. Um, but uh, it's pretty interesting. I'm also thinking that this copper, this little 32 gauge copper wire that's going in there, it's probably might be contributing to some of the discoloration of the, of the water as well. I need to switch that to a night and all piece as well. I was just worried about the resistance a little bit, uh, but maybe it won't affect it at all. And uh, another thing that's interesting is when I came out here this morning, there were still tiny little bubbles, not, I mean, not a whole lot, but just there's still little tiny bubbles still coming up from the screen. I don't know if it's just taking a long time for it to, for the bubbles to shake off or whatever, but it was really interesting to me. But, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that, and I gotta upload this and get it up, get it out there quick before I, before I take off and the, the missus starts yelling at me, so. Um, uh, appreciate the views and comments and questions and all that stuff, guys. Like, and, uh, talk to you later.